And finally, Times' Joe Klein was happy to see Barack Obama angry in his speech about the failure of federal gun legislation because, as he explained in the May 13th edition of the magazine, it signals the emergence of a new militant center fed up with extremists on both sides of the aisle. Obama's anger, quote, was directed at the plague affecting no paralyzing our public life. The ability of well-funded extremist groups to thwart the will of the overwhelming majority. This is a problem that goes well beyond the gun issue. It has infected liberal and conservative lobbying groups alike. Their constant screeching defiles the mass media and drowns out voices of sanity. It is well past time for political moderates to speak as forcefully as the snake oil salesmen who are hijacking our democracy. Close quote. So the gun lobby distorts a debate over guns, and the lesson is that both sides are doing it? But wait, Klein does name some on the other side, including Democrat Jim Dean, Howard Dean's brother, who wrote a fundraising letter expressing disgust with Barack Obama's budget because it cuts old age benefits. This is an extremist parallel to the gun lobby because, Klein explains, the cuts the president called for are very modest. Okay, that's Klein's opinion, but it doesn't fit his thesis. Those benefit cuts are wildly unpopular. So Dean isn't thwarting the overwhelming majority. He's representing it. Klein also names something he calls the civil libertarian lobby as a left-leaning boogeyman, but likewise fails to name a single instance of that vague grouping thwarting the people's will. But never mind. The point is that both sides are extremists worth ignoring, and the center where Klein lives, is where the righteous anger belongs.